You know what's awesome? Having all of this in my basement. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Man, when I first threw Vorpex on this and tried it out for the first time, I had no idea it was going to be as good as it is. Take a look at that. Look at the mountains. Look at how massive that is. This is just a tiny part of what's here. Oh, yeah. The feeling you get, how immersed you feel, the sound of the board cutting through the snow, the air, the speed and the wind. It's, it's, it's so immersive. It's going to blow you away. I didn't have to tweak the cloud profile too much. Um, I, I have and I will continue to. But the way it sits right now, you pretty much just throw your headset on, grab your controllers, catch some giant air. The controls are a little wonky. Um, you have to mess with them a little bit. And uh, even still, uh, like up to this point, I, di I don't have it exactly where I want it to be, but I know I can get it there. I just, I was, I was caught up in playing and trying to get this video out. The eye candy is, is unreal. There's so much of it. Obviously, it's not going to look just like this in the headset, but it's definitely close enough and closer than 99.9% .9 of any other titles have gotten, so. And this is on my uh, 1080 Ti, guys. 7700K, overclocked to 4.7, but still, it's five-year-old PC. And uh, I was getting pretty close to 90 frames when I wasn't recording or streaming, so. The amount of explorable terrain as well. I think there's seven mountains. I mean, that's like GTA 5 scope. Hours and hours of fun and adventure. Little baby trees. Little baby trees. And little baby trees. Nice pow, pow, boy. Nice pow. Nice champagne powder. Yeah. yeah, if you take a look up uh, on the right here, you see those trees with the nice, white, fresh, mm -hmm. dusted tops. Well, it's dusted all over. It's, there's the little gems like that all over the place. And um, I, we can go, I can go so much further, too. There's uh, other resolutions that I could try. There's a bunch of other tweaks that I know I could try. But right now, I'm happy with the way it is. So anything else is just the sugar on top. But compared to Half-Life Alex, arguably the best graphics VR game, that didn't impress me like this did. Or like Grand Theft Auto V did. Or Skyrim, Borderlands. I mean, the list goes on and on. And it's guys like Luke Ross, people at Vorpex, all the modders, giant modding community that are gonna, you know, make these developers start to hopefully finally bring us, you know, the things that we should have had by now or a year ago. It's hard to tell from this view, but um, the first person perspective can kind of block your vision a little from from up above so it kind of forces your, your look down so it, I'm sure there's a way to fix it if anybody does figure it out before I do let me know in the comments and again I warned you this first person perspective if you don't have some serious VR legs on you it's gonna mess you up I didn't have any issues myself but I got some pretty serious VR legs on me
And there's plenty of other things to do. Hey you two guys, you didn't like or subscribe. Change that. Come back. See you next time. Or come check us out on Twitch. We change lives over there.